We're trying this again because the first time I really messed it up. I didn't know how to turn my camera. So we're gonna hold on just a second and see if anybody gets on here. No one yet. Sorry guys. Hey Lon, how are you? I have one person if I have no one else. Thank you so much for coming and supporting me. <clears throat> Y'all have a nervous wreck, so just forgive me. And yeah, that's it. I've gone li live on Facebook, but I have never gone live on YouTube. So I'm freaking out a little bit. So hope y'all understand. Or hope you understand living life with long because you're the only one here right now. <laughs> I'm going to wait just a couple more seconds and I'm just going to go with it. And if people come on, great. If not, that's okay. Bobby, hi. Good to see you. Okay, guys. We're just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and start. First thing I wanted to do was to do my um, plaid box unboxing. I got it about two weeks ago. But I'm not at home, so my son had to mail it to me. So it is a little late, um, me opening it. But I'm just going to hurry up and do this really, really quickly. And then I'm going to, sorry guys, I'm going to, oh, <laughs> thank you, Bobby. Look at this hair today. I, yeah, I'm a hot mess today. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this really quick, and everyone's seen these unboxings on YouTube, so, and I think we all get basically the same thing, but I am so excited to get my box, and oh my goodness, it is full of everything. So, y'all, when you see me, hi Bridget, when you see me looking down, I'm, I cannot see up here, I don't have my contacts in, when I have my contacts in, I can't see my phone. When I have my glasses on, I can't see my phone. So I have to, I, I'm nearsighted or far, I don't know what I am. Anyway, uh, so I've got my iPad down here and I'm looking at your comments down here. So that's what it is. Yeah, I know, Bobby, I know. So of course we got the professional decoupage tools. I'm excited because I have been looking, I've been wanting one of these when I saw everyone else's unboxings. I was like, oh man, could I use that? So I'm really excited about that. Oh my good gravy. All kinds of Mod Podge. Hi Carmen, how are you? Hi Southern G More, G -more gals. It, this was spur of the moment y'all. For those of you who don't know, I tried to go live Saturday and YouTube would not allow me. They said I was not um, something, and they would not allow me, and Lon, uh, living life with Lon, she called me that morning, and she tried to help me in so many ways, and I'm so appreciative, but it still, it would not allow me to go live, so now I'm live. I'm trying to remember I have to look up here instead of, yeah, y'all know, but anyway, all kinds of Mod Podge. We have the dishwasher safe, which I've never used this before. Oh, thank you so much. I think they're they're Walmart, I believe. They were like $2. I don't remember. I wasn't even going to put earrings on today, but I'm like, your hair's up. You need some earrings on. So, dishwasher safe. I've never used this, and I've never used the hard coat. Y'all, if any of y'all know what the hard coat is like, what what is that used for? Let me know because I'm really interested. And the satin. And... Flat brush set. I always need paint brushes. I buy most of mine at the Dollar Tree and they last a few times and then, y'all, yeah, that's it. Matte Mod Podge. Oh my goodness. So many colors. So, are a lot of y'all, I've never seen the hard coat either, Bridget, so I don't, I don't know what that, what that is. And Fabi, I missed your live too because I was trying to get ready to go on this live and I didn't even know you were live so I apologize but I will go back and rewatch that okay so we've got all kinds of blues here we've got is this 
Ceramico or something. Oh my, y'all forgive me, but my son is like texting me and it's coming up on my phone and it's some, uh, yeah. Um, this is called Paradise. So pretty. Look at that color. I cannot wait to use that. And I want to say, I think this is the Delta Creative. And if I'm not mistaken, either Michaels or Joanne sells this or maybe it's Hobby Lobby. It's one of those three. They do sell this brand because I've seen it before, but I can't remember exactly where. And then Apple Barrel Bright Blue. I love that blue too. Folk Art, which I love folk art. Cayman Blue. I'm going to try to hurry and go through this because we've all seen these, but I, I just wanted to make sure I got on here and did the unboxing. Uh, folk Art Calypso Sky. Hi, Amanda. Another Cermaco. I'm not sure how you say this word. Lost Lagoon. That's really pretty. I'm trying to pull out all the light colors, but, you know. And I'm also trying to get through this, so. Oh, Lord. I did not realize y'all could see the side of this head when I, until I looked in my iPad, so. Um, Apple Barrel Bright Yellow. I needed this for our um, lemon uh, challenge that we did last month. Folk Art Moon Yellow. Ooh, I think that's... Y'all, is my light too much for y'all to even see? That'll be really pretty at um, during the fall because I love these like muted... I don't know how to explain it colors. And then Vivid Orange by Folk Art. That's another good fall color daybreak by folk art i am so excited for all this paint because y'all know because y'all are youtubers or even if you're just a crafter this stuff can get expensive when you're going out yes it 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 does say bright yellow doesn't it yep uh i yeah they're all beautiful i love them all bridget uh crocus yellow Ooh, that's a really pretty one too that's kind of like a to me, that's like a lemony. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Y'all can't see how bright they are. I apologize for that. Um, more Mod Podge, the gloss. I always use the gloss or the matte. Those are the two that I always use. So I'm I'm really excited to try these, these other ones. And I'm really... Okay, I'm going back to this really quickly, y'all. This hard coat says... Use on wood, paper mache, glass, terracotta, non-toxic, quick build, hard finish for furniture and water resistant. So I'm really excited to try this hard coat because I've never tried that before. And then we've got some folk art and light lavender. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I should turn my ring light down a little bit. Y'all, I'm so new at all this that I have no idea. Yeah, that might help a little. Isn't that pretty? And then, oh, brushed metal by folk art that's gorgeous i can't wait to use that because i just y'all know i like my um if you watch my channel a lot there's a copper one that i have from folk art that i absolutely love apple barrel white let me just tell you i'm not sure exactly how it works i'm pretty sure that's right i think you have to do an unboxing I don't know if it has to be on YouTube or if it has to be on um, Instagram for that. I'm not really sure, but I was excited. I love, I I didn't realize that Plaid, and, and somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't cl Plaid also, they are the makers of um, Waverly, am I right? And that's mainly what I use, but I really love folk art. I, I've really been getting into folk art lately, so... I'm really excited about these. This is Apple Red. These colors are amazing. Black by, by Apple Barrel. Again, guys, I'm trying to get through these. So, um, ooh, Apple Barrel Flag Red. There is a pretty, I mean, yeah, there's a pretty decent difference in those. Bright Green Folk Art. I'm going to love these two for Christmas. And we're, I'm going to talk about it here in a few minutes, but I have a, um, we have a Christmas in July open collab coming up. So those are going to be perfect for that. Some more of that Ceramico 
salmon. I'm not a real big, like, pinky-ish colored girl. I just, well, you can't tell by my earrings, but I'm, I don't know. I'm just not real girly, girly. I love Waverly too, Carmen. Try folk art because I, I really think if you like Waverly, you would, you would really like folk art. I, I love it. Of course, that's me, but, ooh, lime sorbet. Y'all, this is gorgeous. I am not a color girl. If you watch my channel very often, you know that I am blacks, whites, you know, things like that. But I'm trying to get out there a little more. Yeah, that's... Okay. Okay, yes, Carmen, try that. More brushed metal, and this is like a gold. Oh, that's pretty. And just a couple more, y'all, and we're done with this part of it. Folk art, oh, I'm not a pink girl when it comes to my DIYs, but this kind of reminds me of ballet slipper, maybe a little bit darker. This is seashell pink. Isn't that pretty? I love color anywhere, but like in my house, I'm always so, because I'm always like, oh, what if I don't like it? But I'm gonna start using it to like accent things. I'm going to try. And then Folk Art Aqua. This is gorgeous. Is that not pretty? So, thank you so much to Plaid. I am now Plaid Ambassador. So, you know, I'm not positive what that means, but I'm excited about it. And I cannot wait to use so many. Like I said, I'm not one to, I don't buy a lot of paints with that are colored because I'm always like, well, if I don't like it, then I just wasted money, which, you know, it's not much. It's a dollar or two um, a bottle, but still, I'm kind of, that's just how I am. Nine colors in your hair, Bridget. Oh, I want to see that. Well, right now, I probably have like, I don't know, four or five, because I just dyed it again the other day, and my husband's telling me my hair's gonna fall out if I keep dyeing it. And to be quite honest with you, I've never wanted to be gray. That's why I always dyed it. But I am actually, I would love white hair or gray hair right now. It would not bother me in the least bit. So, y'all, I want to, yes, that blue is so pretty. Okay. I just want to go over a couple things with y'all real quick. I want to tell you about some challenges that we have coming up. Y'all know I am a, I love challenges. I love collabs. Some people don't and I get it. And it is, please stop texting me, son, because you're messing me up. Anyway, um, I, what was I saying? Oh, I love challenges and collabs. I think they're fun. I love to think like, Things that I may not do, I, I'm i not a lemon DIY girl. And yes, silver lining is one of my favorites, Bobby. Hello! Um, but challenges of collapse, I love to do them. Some people don't, I get it, no big deal. But for me, that's what makes YouTube fun. Like, I'm not a lemon girl. I am totally not a lemon person. Uh, I don't decorate with lemons. I don't. You know, but when we did our five under five challenge, I had so much fun doing that lemon challenge. I loved it. So I love to do challenges. I love to do collabs. I do like to do things on my own, you know, and show y'all some of my ideas and like that I wouldn't think of if I had a challenge or a collab. And, but I love them. So on the 5th of July, of course, we have our five under five. We do this every month. This is hosted by myself and Emily at Farm Charm Chic. Every month we have a different theme. This month's theme is Backyard Barbecue, and I am so excited about that because I, we love to barbecue at my house, even if it's just me and my husband. You know, we love it. And our co-host for this month will be... Me too, it pushed me way out of my bubble when it came to lemons because I am not a lemons person, but it was so fun. So our co-host is Devin at The Freckled Mom. I am so excited. Devin has become one of my great, great friends 
not just on YouTube, outside of YouTube. She couldn't make it today. She has some things going on, and so I miss her, uh, but I'm so glad y'all are here, and I know that she's going to watch later on. So, then on the 7th, I have a 777 challenge, and this is hosted by Amanda over at Six Kids in a Glue Gun. If y'all haven't gone to visit her, please do that. Her goal was, her, not her goal, her son, her son's birthday is on the 7th of July. And she asked him what he wanted for his birthday. And he said, Mom, all I want is for you to get to 777 subscribers by my birthday. Y'all, she did it. I am so, so, so proud of her. And so we, she kind of changed it. And it, but we're still doing the challenge because we all want to su support Amanda and we all want to get out there. Yes, isn't that so sweet? She, um, I mean, y'all, she is six kids. I'm just going to tell you. I had two. I stopped at two. I helped to raise my niece and nephew um, on my husband's side. And some days I thought I was going to pull my hair out. How in the world? Oh, I, I pray for this girl every day because Amanda, I love you, girl. I love you. And I, coffee would be my best friend. I'm just going to tell you. So the people that are involved in this are Amanda, six kids and a glue gun, myself, Crafty Cove, Bobby at Eros DIY. I'm so excited. I've never got to actually collab with Bobby, so I'm ex I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all these ladies. Don't get me wrong. Um, MB Gray Designs, Broke Girl Aesthetic, Crafty Quinn, and Mama Can Make It. So those are all of the ladies that are going to be in that challenge. And um, she now, I, I can't remember what her goal was after that. Amanda, if you're still on here, what was your goal since you, yes, two sets of twins. This girl, oh man, she's like my hero because I, I couldn't do it. Um, Amanda, what is your new goal? I can't remember. Was it eight, 847? I don't remember. But my goal for Amanda's seven, seven, seven challenger, this is just me, you know, I'm not. Let me see if Amanda said, oh, she said she's crafting for that right now. Um, I, you're so welcome, Amanda. I love you to death. You know that. Well, y'all, my old brain, I just, 877. Thank you, Fabi. I couldn't remember. Um, what we're going to do is, I'm so honored to be a part of this. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Her new goal is 877, and I can't remember what she is. I checked this morning, and I can't remember. My goal for her and I don't know, you know, but it's my goal for her. I want us to be able to get her to a thousand subscribers on this challenge. So y'all, if you have not checked her out, I'm going to um, put her link to her YouTube channel on my community tab. Please go check Amanda out. She is so amazing. And y'all, I'm looking everywhere because I, I don't really know where to look. So anyway, my goal for Amanda for uh, July 7th is 1,000. So let's try to really get her to that. Then on July 12th, I am hosting a room by room summer refresh collab. And the people in that are myself, Crafty Cove, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, uh, Savannah at Savvy Crafts with Savannah, Devin at Freckled Mom, Kathy at Crafty Crafty Kathy. Sorry, that just, for some reason, that doesn't want to come out. Carmen, she's so amazing. That doesn't want to come out of my mouth. And Megan at the Crafty Quinn. Now, during this challenge, we are all going, we have all picked a room in our home, and we are going to do farmhouse or whatever, shabby chic um, uh, projects, and we are going to decorate the room that we picked with the items that we make. So, I'm not going to tell you what my room is yet because I want everyone to be surprised. But, y'all, make sure you look out for that because thanks to uh, Megan, we have a giveaway going on. We're going to be giving away a Cricut Joy. And if you win the Cricut Joy, you also win a Cricut carrying case for that. I want to win that. Megan, am I allowed to, <laughs> to enter that drawing? I'm just kidding. And then there's another prize. The other prize is the Easy Press Mini with an Easy Press mat and some smart iron-on vinyl. So, huge giveaway. I am so thankful 
to Megan for doing the giveaway. It's it's amazing. I'm and by the way, our gray house. I was sitting here crafting today. Yeah, Bobby, I need the joy because I have the maker. Y'all will notice I have ADHD apparently because I'm like, oh, squirrel. I do not say on one subject. When I see someone say something, I go back to it. But anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, I have the maker and I love it, but it's, it's heavy and it's like, because I have no set crafting space, I have to move it around a lot. So anyway, um, I'm so thankful to Megan for, for that giveaway and I'm so excited for this collab because these are some of my favorite YouTubers. Some, some of them are YouTubers that I have watched. Savannah was um, one of the very first YouTubers that I started watching. Uh, yes, I know I said the same thing. The joy would be the perfect thing. And I want to ask my husband for one. But uh, my Apple Watch died the other day. And he bought me a new Apple Watch. And now I'm asking for... I don't want to ask for the joy yet. I'm trying to kind of, you know, not do it right now. But I've never had a silhouette. So I don't know how those are. I, I've heard they're really good, Fobby. I, I really don't know. But um, I don't want to ask him for a Cricut Joy right now because uh, he just bought me my Apple Watch. So I am so excited. Oh, I want to go back to Savannah. Savannah was one of the first people that I started watching on YouTube for the DIYs. And she's amazing. I'm sure I can tell you all. Oh, go check Savannah out. Oh, hi, Emily. You're here. Um, go check Savannah out. But I'm sure all of you have. And she, if you have not... Go check her out, Savvy Crafts with Savannah. She's amazing. Um, when I first started my YouTube journey, she helped me so much. And she doesn't realize that she helped me as much as she did. When I tell her thank you, she's like, girl, I really didn't do anything. But she did. She has been such an inspiration and such a help. And I'm so thankful for her. Not just her. You know, I don't want to go around naming names because if I do, I'm going to get in trouble because I'm going to forget someone's name. Or I'm going to forget to mention someone. But, yes, Savannah is they don't come any better. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, I'm thankful to so many people who have helped me and who have, um, I don't know if y'all know, I was in the, um, mystery box summer hop with, uh, Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. Sammy took a chance on me when I, I think, and I may be wrong. I want to say when I got into that challenge, I was at about five to 600 subscribers. Y'all, I did not have many subscribers at all. And she took a chance on me and um, let me allowed me to be part of the Mystery Box Summer Hop, which was so fun. And I'm thankful for that. Um, you know, there's so many. Melissa at All Things Crafty was a real big help in the beginning. And I thank her for that. Um, you know, I, again, I don't want to name names. I'm sorry. I just named three names after I said that, but you all know what I'm saying. It, there are so many out there who are really great to the, uh, smaller YouTubers and I'm appreciative of all of them. I just want to say that. Okay. My next collab. Yeah. July is like full of collabs guys, Ch challenges and collabs. And I'm okay with that. I like them. Like I told y'all earlier, I love to, uh, make new friends, and I love to, sorry, I was reading comments, y'all, squirrel, see, that's what I'm talking about, anyway, I love to make new friends, and I like to challenge myself, and with these, with these challenges, and with these collabs, that's what I do, is challenge myself, so, July, July 19th is a summer collab, and y'all, I'm excited about this one, also, I'm excited already unboxed, Emily, I'm so sorry you missed it, you're gonna have to go back and watch it, uh, the colors are beautiful. So beautiful. So on the July 19th summer collab, I am in this with DIY from House to Home, Andrea Peacock DIY, Artsy Maddie, Crafting in a Mimi's World, and Melissa Makes It DIY. I want to say Melissa and I were in the, um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, Mystery Box Summer Hop together. And actually... Melissa sent me my box. So, Melissa and I were in that together. She's amazing. Y'all go check her out. I'm not saying all these other ladies aren't because they are. I just, I can't remember if I've worked with any of them or not. I think maybe, but I can't remember. 
And then um, July 24th, <clears throat> Amanda at uh, Six Kids in a Glue Gun is hosting a Christmas in July open collab, and I am so excited about that. Y'all, I am a Christmas girl. Before I started YouTube, I decorated for nothing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, y'all, please like share comment whatever i would so appreciate it i'm so new at this like i said this is my first time and i wanted to get it out of the way so i so maybe next time i feel a little more you know relaxed and all of that um i've lost my train of thought again i don't remember where it was do y'all have any questions for me i know that a lot of you know because a lot of you are my subscribers and are my friends y'all know that um i craft in a hotel and I would show you the hotel today, or the room today, but my room is a mess because um, I didn't do anything this weekend. <laughs> I enjoy time with my husband, and um, I have a friend that I have been friends with since, I want to say kindergarten. I could be wrong about that date. Um, but we've been friends for years. We lose contact every now and then and get back together, and that's all because life happens, you know, we all have families, we all have homes, we all have jobs. We, you know, this, that, and the other. Well, I don't have a job right now. My job right now is YouTube and my husband. <laughs> um, I know, Fabi, I know. The thing about it is where the hotel that we are in, we are actually, I do want to say something because I'm afraid people are thinking I'm in this little bitty hotel room. I am in a hotel suite. It is a smaller host hotel suite. You could see right here, do y'all see? No, that's the sink. Lord help. Um, right here is how I cook. This is my little two burner uh, glass cooktop that I cook on. And then I also have an air fryer and I also have, I'm sorry y'all, I also have um, a crock pot. So that is how I do it. We do have a little bedroom and we do have a bathroom and a small living room but we when when i first came with my husband oh the reason i'm on the road is because my husband works out of town he has done this kind of job for he travels for his work he's not a truck driver he does right now um if you're familiar with virginia he is working here in virginia and um yes a, 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 a new york city apartment that's kind of like because it's not real big i mean you think oh you have a bedroom a living room and a kitchen Pfft, and a bathroom no no i do but then again you know they're not big um but he works out on the road and for years i stayed home because i had i still have um children my youngest son was a senior in high school and i did not want to leave him at home you know him and his brother so i stayed at home and last year i had a situation come up with my job i was a two-year-old uh daycare teacher and i had a situation come up there at work where um just a situation and my husband i came home and i was crying and i was like what do i do you know and my husband had already told me hey i'm going to virginia this is the next job this is where i'm going and i said i'm not going I'm going to keep my job. I'm not going to travel. I want to stay home, you know. And anyway, when that all happened with my job, I came home and I was crying and I was, what am I going to do? I just don't know what to do. And he's like, you know what? God had a reason for this. This was God's plan. You are supposed to come with me. So that's, that's just how we took it, you know. This was God's plan. And so I started to travel with him. And I have been traveling with him almost a year now it'll i want to say it'll be a year in august i love it he loves it i do cook most nights here in the hotel sometimes we go out today he called me and asked me what was for dinner and i told him and he said oh that doesn't sound good and i was like you know what <laughs> that's what's for dinner so yes god is so good bridget and he knows exactly what we need and when we have need of it even when we don't know we need it so um uh anyway about the dinner he did not want that for dinner and i said well you know what that's what's for dinner so then he called me back an hour later and he said okay i know you're filming today so since you're filming why don't i just take you out to eat y'all who is gonna say no to not have to cook especially in this little bitty 
kitchen and not doing dishes, which I do have a dishwasher. I will say that a small dishwasher. So, um, yeah, we're going out to eat tonight. But anyway, do I love it? I do love it. It is fun. And right now it's really fun because we are on, Ver well, we're not. We are in Norfolk, Virginia, and we are so close to Virginia Beach that I go to the beach quite often. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been on a little health journey the last couple weeks. And yes, it was spaghetti, Emily. It was totally spaghetti. He did not want the spaghetti. And I was like, I want spaghetti. And yes, that's so funny, Emily. That's so funny that you guessed what it was. Um, I'm on this little health journey. I have had, I'm, an, I'm severely anemic right now. My cholesterol is a little high, um, you know, just little things, but I am getting better. Um, I am on, I love Virginia too, Calvi. I am on some medication that is really helping me and it's making me feel a lot better, have more energy. So I'm also on a weight loss journey. Oh gosh, y'all pray for me because I like to eat. My husband and I are not like, I don't know how to explain it. When we go out, our fun thing to do is to find a new restaurant. <laughs> That's what we like. We like to go out and we like to eat and we like to find new places. And sometimes we like them, sometimes we don't. But that's what we like to do. So, uh, yeah. But I do, I love to travel with him more than anything. For those of you who don't know our story, um, our story is we met on a blind date when I was 18 years old. And we got married two months later. And we have been married for, it was 28 years in January, January 22nd. We had everyone telling us we wouldn't make it. There's no way. You've known each other for two months. Da 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 da. Um, I we we met in Indiana where I live. I moved from Indiana to Kentucky where I knew no one. Um, I had been to the town. I knew a couple people. I had been to the town uh, that we lived in once or twice uh, a few years before that. But yeah, it uh it it's great. We're happier now I think than we ever have been we've grown up together pretty much I was 18 he was 21 when we got married so we've kind of we've grown up grown up with our kids so yeah um anything you all want to know about me let me know ask me you know nothing's off. well maybe some things are off let me know no um I I love to travel with him it helps me it helps him he works 12 to 14 hour days which is really hard for him. So, I, with me being here, he doesn't have to worry about laundry. He doesn't have to worry about cooking. He doesn't have to worry about going to the grocery store, whatever he needs. Um, that's why I'm here. No, that's not the only reason why I'm here, but you, you all understand what I'm saying. We have a pretty good relationship. We've had times, you know, men are men. But I will tell you this, we are complete and total opposites. There are only about three things in life that we both like uh, together, and we don't do not like the same music. We do not like the same vacation spots. We do not like anything um, that the other one likes. So we are complete opposites. But I think that just makes it, you know, it makes it interesting. Okay, let me see what what's a cow. Oh, is that a Bobby, I'm confused. Is that a, are you talking about that's a cow on your like little emoji thing? Okay, anyway. Yes, Bobby, I love to be here with him and I think he likes it. Bridget, you live in Western Kentucky. Oh, we live on Lake Cumberland and I, I've been there a total of 28 years, on and off. So there were a couple times when my dad passed away, we did move to Indiana for a little while. Well, my dad passed away and about six months later, my husband's um, mom was killed by a drunk driver. So we moved back to Indiana where my mom lives. And, but we've come back home and uh, Kentucky's home now. Um, I can't imagine ever going back and living in, I mean, I love Indiana. I love my family there. I miss my family there. I miss my friends there. 
but I don't know if, I know where Corbin is, Bridget, not too far from us. Um, I, I know that my kids, or my kids, my way of life now is so much different. One thing that I love about being on the road though is the convenience, thank you, Bobby. Um, because in the town that we live in, I don't know how many people live in our town, um, I think we have in our actual part of the town, I want to say we have two stoplights. I may be wrong there. Um, there are not very many restaurants. I don't have a Starbucks. <laughs> I don't even have a Dunkin' Donuts. My um, choices for coffee are McDonald's or Dairy Queen. Or But now, I, someone, if anyone from home... If anyone from home is watching this, uh, there is a new coffee shop. Well, I mean, it may not be new now, but I've not been home really to be home home for a year. So it's new to me, but I think there is a new coffee shop. So I am excited to get to go to that when we get home because I am a coffee lover. I only drink usually one cup a day. The other day was like a three cup day. Oh, Saturday. It was a, it was a rough day. But anyway, I love coffee and so I'm going to check that out. I'm just kind of reading through your alls. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate it. I'm just kind of reading through your alls comments. Like I said, if there's something you want to ask me, let me know. But a lot of people, I get a lot of the questions. Um, why don't you just spray paint that? Let's like I did a project today. And see, Bridget? Yes. Oh, the last book I read. <laughs> Emily, you are bringing them all out there. The last book I read is a book I'm reading now, actually. I am a huge fan of Little House on the Prairie books, Laura Ingalls Wilder. I love them. I've loved them since I was a little girl. Um, so now I am reading a book that gives, like, the backstories. Like, she puts so much in the books, but then this woman interviewed her daughter, and they found, um, I'm going to get it. Hold on, y'all, because it's a really good book. Sorry. It is called, I am a huge reader, by the way, Emily, I can read anything. I read the Bible, I read fiction, I read uh, everything you can think of, I, I can read it. So I love to read. Um, I'm reading, it's called Prairie Fires. And it is about... It just goes a little deeper into the books. Like this lady or whoever had met with her daughter and they went through some journals and found so much more than just what the books were saying. Okay, Amanda, thank you. I'm not I'm only gonna be on here a couple more minutes, y'all. Um, but anyway, that's my that's the book that I'm reading now. My favorite book in the world is To Kill a Mockingbird. I read that book once a year, every year around Christmas time. Why around Christmas time? I have no idea. You'd think I'd read it in the summer or whatever. But um, that, love you, Amanda. Thank you. That is what I'm reading now. And it's so far, it's really, really good because I'm a history buff too. My next book is going to be Hidden Figures. I've seen the movie five million times. One of my favorite movies and I've not yet read the book. And everyone tells me that the book is, of course, the book is always so much better. So that's my favorite. Those are the books that I'm reading. My favorite meal is Shogun's. I, uh, I love Shogun's. That's not really a meal. That's a restaurant. But I, when I'm at home and I say my favorite meal is Shogun's, everybody knows what that meal is. So, Okay, guys. Um, let's see. What was your other question? My favorite movie. That one is hard for me because I'm a movie buff. Yes, Carmen. Books are always so much better than the movies. I don't know... Emily, I, I really don't know if I have a a um, a favorite movie. I mean, I'm sure I do, but at this very moment, I can't think of it. Right now, it's Hidden Figures. Hi, Bird's Nest Buys and DIYs. How are you? Right now, it's Hidden Figures just because that was the last movie that I watched. And again, I love Grease too, Fabi. Love Grease. Again, I am... One of those people. Y'all, I'm so sorry if I 
call you by your channel names and I don't call you by your name. So I'm assuming that Bird's Nest Buys and DIYs is Robin. Hi, Robin. I apologize, y'all, because I do not remember people's names. Yes. Oh, Hidden Figures is one of my absolute, and it has been since it's came out. It's one of my absolute favorites and The Help. I love both of those I love both of those movie, er, movies, and I think the reason that I love them so much is because of the history, too, that... Oh, Bert, uh, Robin, my name is Missy. <laughs> um, because of the history that goes along with the movie or with the books. Uh, they're my favorite. So, y'all, I am so sorry if I have just rambled and I've been a mess on here. And <laughs> But if y'all watch my channel you know, you know that that's just the kind of person that I am. I should have named my channel The Messy Crafter. I'm trying to get better. Oh, yes. Fabi, you have got to watch it. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. But um, if y'all watch my channel, you know I'm messy. I'm working on that, but I've been a messy person all my life. And, you know, I start off and my... My workspace is so clean. And if you do watch my channel a lot, um, which you can't see the table right now, but right here where I'm at, <laughs> thank you, Bobby. Right here where I'm at is where I do most of my DIYs. Unless my husband's here and I feel like doing a DIY, which I normally don't, I go into the bedroom and I have a small, very, very, very small desk that I do do those on right there. Yes, yes, Bobby, get some tissues if you're going to watch it. I know those, those plaid colors are gorgeous. I cannot believe, and I'm afraid, oh, Emily, you've got to watch it. But anyway, um, I, I never buy those color any colors really because I'm afraid I'm not gonna like them. So I'm like, do I really want to buy that color and then not use it? And but those are gorgeous. So I'm going to make myself do that again. If you all hear any background noise, forgive me. I'm in a hotel, so if you hear a dog barking here in just a minute, it's gonna be my dog because I hear people walking like by my room, and she will have a fit. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else to tell you all. You know, I'm a, I am a grandmother. My youngest son got married two or, this may be his third anniversary coming up. I can't remember and that's bad and I apologize, but I'm blaming it on my age. Um, I think so, Bridget, because I think everyone pretty much gets pretty much the same colors in their boxes. Um, but my youngest son, his name is Dakota, and he is married to a beautiful woman, and her name is Krista, and he has a stepson, and his name is Hunter, and he became our first grandchild. We love him like he's ours, like he's our own. We do not do step or anything like that in our families. We don't believe in it. We believe that when you are family, you are family. That's just how it is. So I do have him. I helped to raise my niece and my nephew on my husband's side. And my nephew, they both have children now. They both have little girls. And my nephew, it, they are raising their daughter to treat us as grandparents. So she calls us Nana and Paul. If you saw a video a few weeks back, I had her in it. Her name's Mia. My niece has a little girl and she is absolutely beautiful also. Her name is Amani, and we don't get to see her much. Uh, you know, we're not home very often, y'all. We just aren't. And when we are home, it's hard for people to come and see us because, we, I mean, they do come and see us. I'm not saying people don't. Please don't take it that way. That came out completely not like I meant it. But when we are home, we are normally only home. <laughs> when we are home, we are normally only home for two or three days, and it makes it harder to see everyone and to do everything. My husband is a fisherman. He loves to fish, so he likes to fish when we're at home. He has a boat, and he wants to be out fishing on the lake when we're home, but then again, he wants to be at home spending time with family. You know, it's, it's a balance, and it is a hard balance, but that's the price that we pay for 
being on the road, and we understand that. I also have an older son. He, if I say his age, he is totally going to kill me because he is close to 30, and I, he will text me in just a moment, y'all, and it will come right up here, and I will laugh because I guarantee he'll say, oh, my God, I can't believe you told people. Um, he is close to 30, and um, he lives at home still. Actually, right now he is he he is traveling a little bit, but um, so I have two boys, and again been married for 28 years, and two grandchildren that I absolutely adore, and that is the hardest part of being on the road. Yes, Fabi, um, I'm not sure who you're talking to. I I kind of missed out on my comments here and I've lost my paper too. Um, yeah, I don't know where my paper went. With all of my, y'all, I'm telling you what, I, my brain is like gone. Yes, there will be a cricket giveaway on our, my July 12th collab. And it is a, one of them is a cricket joy and one of them is a cricket mini easy press i believe i hope i am right on that y'all oh y'all look that's why i couldn't find my paper because i get nervous and i just totally yeah okay yes fabi our um i'm not sure who you were telling were you telling robin hi effie um robin oh your birthday that'd be a great birthday present we are giving away a cricket joy with a cricket carrying case and an Easy Press Mini with an Easy Press Mat and a, some Smart Iron Vinyl to go with that. So all you have to do is watch our videos. We are we are we will be um, starting to advertise those videos. Uh, I'm going to start putting online on my uh, community tab on uh, Facebook on the first of July. So make sure you check that out. And we have some, I have some, there are some amazing ladies that are joining me for that. And, and so many amazing collabs that are coming up and I'm so excited. I'm, again, I am a collabs and a challenge type of girl. I love the interaction. Um, I myself have not had any subscribers tell me, hey, stop doing those. We would rather see from you, da, 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 da. Others may have, but I myself have not. My subscribers seem to enjoy it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely be so honored, so humbled, so grateful if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying right now to hit uh, 2,000. And when I hit 2,000, there will be another giveaway so I will have another giveaway um, Amanda won the Amanda from six kids at a glue gun won the um, thousand subscriber giveaway and y'all I don't remember if I told you this or not but our gray house had a I hope so Robin I hope so I'm I, it seems like I'm inching along and I just cannot get past this I thought I couldn't get past 1930 something, but I'm looking at my page right now on my YouTube and it says 1.94. So apparently, hi Debbie. Apparently I have um, went through that. Hi CJ. Okay, let me get back to what I was. Again, y'all, ADHD here. Um, I, our gray house had a giveaway and I... I entered it, never thought anything more about it. You know, I, I love her. She's amazing. Um, but then today I'm sitting here and I'm working on it. And maybe I already told you this. I don't remember. I, I think I started, but I didn't get through it. So I'm sitting here and I'm working on a video and, and my phone dings and it says, um, our gray house mentioned you and their stories. And that's been happening you know, the last week a little bit because of the five under five challenge that we have coming up in July. Uh, when it gets around this time, people start mentioning uh, myself and Emily in their stories and they, you know, so I thought, well, that's probably what it is. But then I just went and looked at it anyway. And thank you, Living Life with Lon. I, girl, I love you. You are amazing and you have been such a help to me and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Have a great day. I'm about ready to hurry and get off of here. Yes, Artsy Maddie, I won the calendar. That's what I was going to, sorry y'all, I got a little excited there. That's what I was getting ready to say. I have looked for this calendar forever. I, when they first started selling them, I went to about 10 different Dollar Trees. Nobody had them. I was like, what? But anyway, I get on, I get on there and I'm like, it says there's this wheel and it's spinning and it lands on Crafty Cove. And I'm like, yes, that is totally me, Robin. Or Bridget. Bridget. Totally me. I, I, I can't keep my, you know. But anyway, and I see this wheel turning and it lands it. It says Crafty Cove DIY. And I'm like, what in the world? And then she puts another um, story up that says, Con congratulations, Crafty Cove. You won the giveaway. So I am so excited. I have wanted one of these calendars forever. I cannot wait to get it and get started. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to kind of hurry along with this because when I go back and rewatch this, I'm going to be like, oh, why did you even do this? You know, because I know I have went off on a tangent and I've, I tried to have my, my notes, which is what um, a couple people told me to do. And I, I tried to do that, but I still, you know, that I, when someone asks me a question, I feel like I have to answer right then. And then I go, back. yeah. So I want to thank each and every one of you so, so, so much for coming and spending an hour with me and watching. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> that means the world and watching this craziness um i'm not going to have a video tomorrow my video tomorrow was going to be my unboxing and because i went ahead and did it today i'm not going to have a video tomorrow um my next video will be the i want to say the fifth i could be wrong just keep Oh, thank you, Bridget, so much. That means the world to me. It really does. Some people just don't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I know, Carmen. Some people just don't know how to take me. I am, I was not born in the South. I was born in Indiana. In Indiana. I'm going to hurry with this story. I met my husband on a blind date, got married, moved to Kentucky, and um, it's just become a way of life for me, and I love everyone, and I'm not. Thank you, Fabi. That means so much to me. I, I try not to be someone that I'm not, so I just want to be me. But another thing, I'm going to do a couple of different, I'm going to change up a few things. Thank you, Artsy Maddie, um, on my channel. Nothing major, but one thing I want to throw it out there just to let you all know. One thing that I would like to start doing. I just participated in the Here's Your Crown Women Supporting Women Challenge that is hosted every month by uh, Devin, at Freckle, Devin at Freckled Mom and Connie at... Connie's Nails and Creations. I did not get to participate the first month. It broke my heart because I really wanted to because that is a near and dear um, thing to my heart is people that support others. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care what you are. But anyway, I did get to, I did get to do that this month and I loved it. I, I showcased an item, um, a, a craft by Savannah and that's what my craft was. But anyway, I believe that what I'm going to start doing on my channel, y'all let me know what you think about this. If you think it's a bad idea, uh, you know, I want your input. I would like to start showcasing at least once a month and possibly one every video. I haven't really got the ins and outs of it yet. I want to start showcasing um, a YouTube YouTuber that is under 1,000 subscribers just to try and help people grow because getting to that first thousand we all know can be so, 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 so hard. So that is my idea to start showcasing, having a YouTube showcase, <clears throat> uh, YouTube channel showcase. And thank you, Robin. That's, that's just what I really wanna do. So if y'all think that's a good idea, let me know. Don't forget to like this. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Carmen. Um, it's just something I want to do. And you know, y'all, I'm only at 2,000 subscribers. It's not like I have 50,000. It's not like I'm huge, and I'm not. And I still don't know what I'm doing half of the time. But I want to help anyone and everyone that I can because some of us have been given not so great advice. And it's hard, and it it's kind of throws you back a little bit, and it, it makes you reevaluate, and it makes you think, you know, whatever, you, you want to... Effie, you will get there. I'm telling you, the first thousand to me was the absolute hardest. Uh, oh, I never thought I'd get there, but I did. So 
that is that is my idea so if you all think that's a good idea again please just let me know and also if you know a channel that is under 1,000 subscribers you think should be showcased let me know because I would love to do that for those of you who are under 1,000 if you want to be showcased make sure Oh, Carmen, girl, I couldn't rehearse if I wanted to. I, you saw me. I'm like squirrel, cow, chicken, egg. I, you know, I just don't know. I, I'm one of those people that just, I go 50 miles one dire in each direction. So, but if you are a channel under 1,000 and you would like to be showcased again, y'all, I don't know everything about YouTube. I'm learning so much. This is my first live. There are still so many things that I don't know and I'm trying so hard. But I want to be what some ladies were for me when I first started. Just being a voice, just being a person to listen. Yes, <laughs> hey, Matt Granite, that's exactly right, Bridget. Um, <clears throat> so, if you are a YouTube channel and you are under 1,000 subscribers, please let me know because I definitely want to go check out your channel. I want to support you and I, want, I would love to, yes, Favi, it does drive you nuts. I would love to support you and I would love to showcase some of you on my channel because I'm telling y'all, there's nothing special about me. I myself have no clue how I have grown the way I've grown. Yes, I do. I lied. I didn't mean to lie, but I did lie because I had other women behind me that were supporting to me and that, yes, yes, Bobby, I do. <laughs> and that um, collabed with me and and allowed me to be in challenges that in all reality, I probably should not have been allowed to be in because I did not have many subscribers. So um, that's just one thing that I wanna do. Again, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. If you, yes, uh, Carmen, I will start doing that. Oh, Emily, you know I love you. Emily and I started right around the same time. We became fast friends during um thrift flip thursday that um and that's another one of my um, videos out next month i forgot to tell you all about uh savannah at savvy crafts with savannah and shana at robinson repurposing they do a thrift flip thursday youtube video every second thursday of the month and the only rules are you only flip something or ten dollars and under it doesn't count your, like, things you already have in your stash. It's something you go buy. It's Goodwill or Thrift Store. Check those out because that is one of my favorite, favorite challenges. That's how Emily and I became friends. And we are, she's one of my best friends now. I love her to death. Y'all check her out if you haven't checked her out. Uh, check each other out. Like, go through and see. But I'm going to start posting these. And like I said, I'm going to um, pick one YouTuber that is, thousand subscribers or less and we are going to start showcasing them on my channel i hope that's okay with you all i hope that you all understand why i'm doing this i just want to be a help i want to be a support and i want to support everyone i can this youtube world is huge we can all fit in it there's no reason for you know um competition just because you're subscribed to me doesn't mean you can't be subscribed to the next one so I just appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Thank you for your kind words. Again, sorry about the ADHD. I'm hoping to get better at that. But then again, if I did get better at that, I wouldn't be me, you know? Yes, Robin, we are all family. Who does like a beginner? Oh, uh, I really don't know who does like a beginner's beginning channel. We'll look into that. Um, but um, if I was different, I don't know if y'all would, you know, I wouldn't be me. So next time, might not be squirrel. It might be the squirrel and the cow. I don't know. I can't make any promises. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And keep track of my community tab, y'all. And if you want to find me on Instagram, I am Crafty Cove, no spaces, underscore DIY. I love you all. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys.